Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Batel from Batel's Kitchen and today I am super excited to be sharing with you a new excellent recipe for either your holiday table or a main course just for yourself. I am a huge fan of eggplant. I've already shared a couple of eggplant recipes here on my channel. And this specific recipe I'm super excited about because it could be either an appetizer or a main course just for yourself. If you're new over here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post a new recipe every single week. And all the measurements for this recipe are going to be in the description box below so you can check it out. Also, if you need some inspiration and some help in getting your healthier journey started, Check out my free ebook. It has breakfast and brunch ideas that you're going to love. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna start by cutting our eggplant into half. And I like to pick the lighter eggplants because they tend to have less seeds and less bitterness. Once we have it cut in two, we're going to take a small knife and we're going to score those little diamond shapes. They're so cute and also they allow the eggplant to roast more evenly. Onto a baking sheet, we're going to take a little bit of olive oil. We're going to drizzle it on top and then we're going to place our eggplant as well. We're going to make sure we season it really well with some salt and pepper to taste. And then for color and also flavor, we're gonna add a little bit of sweet paprika. We're gonna add cumin, and we're gonna finish it off with a little drizzle of olive oil as well. We're gonna flip the eggplant and this is ready to be roasted. But we're gonna take advantage on the oven and our baking sheet, and we're gonna add our chickpeas as well. I have over here homemade chickpeas and they're a little bit more soft but that's completely okay because they're going to be even more crunchy. We're going to give them some flavor, we're going to add salt and pepper to taste. Some paprika as well, we're going to add some cumin and garlic powder. We're gonna give it a toss and we're gonna make sure that it all will spread it on the baking sheet. Our oven is preheated to 425 degrees Fahrenheit on a roast feature. And we're gonna put it there for maybe 20 to 25 minutes until everything is roasted. If you feel like your chickpeas are getting burnt, you can remove them or simply add them 10 minutes after you place the eggplants inside. Our eggplants are perfectly roasted and we are ready to plate. Onto a nice plate, we're gonna take our homemade tahini. I have the recipe on my channel and we're gonna spread it onto the plate. And then we're gonna take our eggplants and place them on top, just like that. A little bit more olive oil, just to keep them nice and moist and not dry when they get cold. And now we're gonna add our roasted chickpeas for the crunchy element and for our protein. We're gonna drizzle some more tahini on top. And of course we have to add our greens. These give it such beautiful brightness and color and even flavor. The cilantro and the mint together are absolutely delicious. We're gonna add a little bit of sumac and some fresh mint to garnish. And this dish is ready to be served. Just two minutes before I pulled the eggplant out, I popped some pitas in the oven to get them roasted and toasted. And now we're gonna build the perfect bite. Mm. 
So with a spoon, we're going to dig into the flesh of the eggplant, which is perfectly roasted. And we're gonna make sure we have all the elements. We have the tahini, we have the fresh herbs, we have the crunchy chickpeas, and we have everything that we need in order to have this amazing pita stuffed with this amazing eggplant. I also added for myself some sliced jalapeno because I love spicy food. So feel free to add it if you'd like. And that's it. This dish is absolutely ready and so delicious and healthy and gluten-free and high in protein. I hope you're gonna give it a try. That's it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're gonna give this eggplant recipe a try. If you enjoyed this video at all, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel. And also, if you're looking for more inspiration of plant-based recipes that are easy, delicious, gluten-free, vegan, and so good for you, check out my cookbook, Eggless Possibilities. You can find so many meals that the whole family can enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.